know, everybody underground, like waiting for the album, they're like talking about Nas down, talking about Nas down. I just feel like the like, most anticipated shit waiting to come out. Everybody, almost everybody says, everybody says the same thing. Not to be jacking, nobody ain't, nobody sick, whatever, but doesn't just nice or whatever. So, how's, that, how's that feel? Like, because, I, um, you come from Queen's Bridge, Queen's and stuff, whatever, and then you start to get out there, whatever, you know, how do you, how do you feel like, right away? I just might wait for shit to come out. You come out? Very little. But you do. You do listen to rap from me. Alright, everybody, all of us did. Ain't no doubt about that. Alright, so you know how you, we used to be waiting for Rock Hill new shit to come out? Mm-hmm. Or fucking, you know, LL new shit or whatever. All of that shit just waiting and waiting. Now, that was me waiting for these niggas. Now this niggas waiting for me, so I just I just want to give them what they waiting for, and if I don't, I'm just if they don't really want that, then I'm gonna hit them again with something else that's gotta work. You know what I'm saying? So if this one don't work, I'm gonna keep striving. I'm doing this, ain't nothing can stop me. You know what I'm saying? I set it off in this game already. I'm just trying to, I mean, nothing stop me now. So I, I feel I'm glad, I'm blessed for that that they waiting for me. You know what I'm saying? Um. Does, does, it, does it get to you sometimes that um, people got like this rap fantasy, like, as soon as they cut an album, they're gonna have like, man, girls, cars, and they have loot and everything. And then, I know, like, a lot of times, once you give a, a deal, you're still struggling, you still got mad stuff to do, you're still beating your head against the wall. Does, does it bother you sometimes when you get kids say, oh, you must have mad loot now, whatever. Why are you still living there? Why are you taking the train and bus or whatever? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm the this niggas, I used to be with my crew and see a rapper or something and on the train or something. I mean, I never really, my pimps was really doing it. I really was like laying back checking the whole shit out. So I just, I was prepared for that. So, but just me, just be, fuck records, man. You know what I'm saying? I know how I want to live, so I'm going to try to get money regardless and live how I want to live. If I want to be in the bins, then I'm going to get up bins. If I'm going to work hard to get up bins, you know what I'm saying? So, if I'm on a train, he's like, why you on the train? I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Um, what's changed in your everyday routine, if anything? Still the same, the same day when you get up? The only thing is now, I got a more of a purpose, you know what I'm saying? I got more of a purpose in life, something different. Something to make my mom smile, you know what I'm saying? Um, don't like school, huh? Public schools. Because yeah. um, I love um, when public school that show the lives getting dressed up. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? You ain't believing me back then. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That shit kind of fucking hurt me. Because I was into my books, man. I was into it, man. Mm-hmm. But the shit I was talking about, they didn't really talk about some fucking. Yeah, it's over now. I know a lot of times, like, you have an idea, and, like, they let you start off, then they cut you off, and, like, when they think that. I mean, the whole thing is to stimulate thinking, and a lot of times, they don't even want to try to Um, what's up with you and religion? How do you have any ones that religion? I know, like, back in the 5% of the stuff like that, oh, it's a fuck shot. And, and hearing him talk, I can hear some of the same things in the album as far as, um, like, uh, I don't know, it's not, not against Christianity, but against the set religion. Is this, do you follow one set religion? No, I'm not with no religion. And as I was, I seen God, his left God come down and tell me, yo, this is this, this is this. Then I'm like, oh, all right, you know what I'm saying? But man, I'm gonna come to you. But the shit makes sense. If everything he's saying, signs behind it, then I'm, I believe him. But I can't say I'm just gonna be in, in a religion and just practice all the shit that I was practicing in the ancient times. Nowadays, you know what I'm saying? Religion is good, it helps people sometimes. Sometimes it fucks their minds up. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you do, if you have a religion, just know yourself and know what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? Because um, you gonna carry it, you gonna carry it all. You know, so you can be religious and be a false representative and make your whole staff, your whole people, all your peoples look bad. Or you could be a, the real type of motherfucker that's gonna talk to the masses and, and kick it for real. Um, who drops jewels on you? I know, I got a lot of times I can listen to bad times, and you're saying some shit that's like, like, it just gets me, and you think, it's like, who drops jewels on you? Who makes, who makes you think? 
Whatever call that you think. Um, um, Eddie Murphy make you think. Right up, and he's, drop, he's dropping some shit, man. Shit, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Talking sure. some shit, and you don't know he, he's talking some real life shit. I know you can get milk down here by the females yeah. and shit. Um, um, you know, comedians be making me think, you know what I'm saying? Poor Moon, you know, and Martin Lawrence sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Niggas make me think, because everybody sitting there laughing. I don't have to laugh all the time at the jokes, mm -hmm. but uh, inside I'm like feeling good about certain shit they say, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And just to mm -hmm. check if the niggas out getting paid telling us the bill. Mm -hmm. Um, that's something I'll do that, because, um, I don't know, I don't, I can't see with somebody who laughs, I don't know, 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 Checking for the deep behind everything. Is there something that makes you laugh? Is there something that you like to make that cash with that? Something to be sure. Something that makes me laugh. Um, yeah, when I be seeing a nigga I ain't seen in a long time, a nigga that just was a funny character, then I see him again, and you want some new shit to throw? Or just when my people come home and I ain't see them in a year, a year or two, I just feel good. I like to feel good about something, you know? Mm -hmm. Alright, question. Um, how, how do you plan on going about promoting this album? I'll go with in the future. In the future? Yeah. For the album when it drops or after? Like after. To keep the people coming back. Got some new shit, new style. It's just the new style I'm doing now. I know um, a lot of times it's like a record will come out and then it'll be like two, three years old to the artist. So you can and keep that and you say probably change up and then something totally different or change maybe just a little bit and keep that really up on it. Um, is this is this the case of this album? Is it gonna drop and it'll be like all the songs that kind of old to you and you have other things in mind getting ready for, for the next album or whatever? Yeah, I mean, I got some shit. It's like, the shit is old, but you know, the way, it's just the way that you, you kick it, the way you drop it, and the way the beat comes, comes and everything. It's the whole shit that makes it solid. It shit just gotta be solid so that you can't put an age on it. You know what I'm saying? So after it's out, mm -hmm. I just try to make shit that's solid. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like with the new shit, I'm like, you know, I'm just my rap. My rap is like this. I mean, I mean, I don't really. I like what other people do styles, but I can't do them styles. You know, they bugging with their voices and mm -hmm. shit. So it's like I just my shit is like real talking. It's just talking. My shit is talk. It's a conversation. When you know when your voice get higher and then you bring it down lower, it's just like when certain words make me happy, certain words that I like to say, like, you know what I mean? But then I might call, calm it down so you understand this paragraph. But then I might get hype on this one. And then I might feel mad on this line right here. You know what I'm saying? So that's just how I do this, my shit.